Hi everybody, Broken Ebs here, welcome to today's video. Today's video I've got a little cracker for you. So for those of you that don't want to use a pre-built distro and want to do it all themselves, I can 100% heartily recommend a bit of plain Debian 12 bookworm with a window manager that I just do not see used anymore. Uh, but nevertheless, it's an absolute little corker. It really, really is. Um, and it is, of course, LXDE. Now, a lot of people will tell you that um, LXDE uh, is finished and it's not developed anymore. Well, it's kind of true and not true. Um, so anyway, for those of you that are interested, um, Debian 12 with the LXDE window manager is fantastic for e-waste PCs. Much lighter than XFCE, but it's still very familiar to all and sundry. And it is available, uh, Debian 12, download let's just have a quick look uh oh downloading debian blah 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 uh getting debian so download mirrors gonna download mirrors uh, i think i went to the uk http continue uh and this is the current and the current live AMD 64, there's a BT hybrid. Um, but I actually, where did I get it from? I didn't get it from there, because there was a lot more than that available. Uh, let me try something else. Uh, uh, let me try Debian 12. LXDE ISO download uh, and it's already available for you in Debian 12 live install images you could of course just do um, uh, USB via torrent there we go DVD USB blah 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 here they are so Debian 12.5, and what I'll do is I'll put a shortcut link to this web page underneath the video. Um, all Well, I say all, that's not true. Not all at all. Uh, most of the popular um, desktops are here. Uh, XFCE, uh, the standard where you choose Mate, LXQt. That's the one that I went for, Debian Live LXDE. There's also KDE, there's Gnome, there's Cinnamon. So you've got quite a nice selection of plain Debians. Um, and basically, uh, uh, this is going to do you the world of good. If you want to build it all yourself, if you don't want to run MX Linux, which again, I heartily recommend. The other thing I love about LXDE is it comes with a ton of bar plugins out the box. So you really can customize your panel, put it where you like, and also add the plugins right out the box. As you can see, this is the little Core 2 Duo E8400 with four gigs of RAM. Uh, I have swapped the graphics cards out. Uh, I've put in the Raiden RX 460. Uh, it's still a two gigabyte card, but the other uh, ATI Raiden HD was really struggling to record videos, whereas this little RX 460 uh, eats videos for breakfast. So once it's installed, uh, it comes with a few bits and pieces. Um, if you're not happy with them, you can always uninstall them and make it your own. Or you could do uh, the net install and just add the stuff that you want to add. I've added Google Chrome in um, because I was testing out um, the ability for it to do dodgy boxing and 
everything else, which is great. Need to turn that on. Um, the other thing is it doesn't come, uh, if you do go for LXDE, it doesn't come with a network manager. So you'll have to, I mean, you can do it via the terminal, um, but other than that, you will need to install a network manager. Um, and I think, if we just open up Synaptic, I think I did the GNOME network manager. But if you just do a simple search for network manager uh, in Synaptic, it should bring them all up. You can use whichever one you want. Uh, all right, so it's not going to show me anything. Uh, it might have been uh, hyphen. No, still not going to show me anything. Okay, let's try GNOME Network Manager. There we go. Network Manager GNOME is the one that I installed. <coughs> uh, and the reason um, I went for that was just because I wanted to have a fixed IP address and I wanted to do my own DNS servers. Now, as I say, you can do it quite quickly and easily via the terminal. Um, but if you don't want to go in the terminal, well, then the GNOME Network Manager works just fine. Uh, I don't know why that net mask is on 24. Uh, it shouldn't be, but it's working. Uh, should be to 255 dot, uh, dot 255 dot 255 dot zero. There we go. Save that away. And that's the one that's actually being used. So is that one correct? No, nope, that's on 2.4 as well. I don't know what's going on there. 255.255.255.0. There we go. And save that away. Uh, and that's it. You're done. Uh, then you can set your own IP addresses. You can set your own DNSs and everything else. It's really cool. But Debian LXDE is not an ob operating system. I see very much these days. Uh, let's have a quick look at uh, LXDE. I don't know if there's still a web page for it. Uh, I know it's, yeah, there is. Uh, and I know it's no longer developed. Uh, there's all your features. LXDE.org. Get involved. Do you program in, in C or Vala? Use language. LXDE does not cover. Want to help? Blah, blah, blah. So, uh, get to know LXDE. There's a forum. There's a wiki. There's a blog. Let's have a quick look at the blog. Uh, February the 25th, 2021 was the last act activity uh, when they released the LX panel. Um, but nevertheless, it's still a really, really nice, viable uh, window manager in 2024. A lot of people will point you to LXQT. LXQT is the natural successor to LXDE. Uh, and there are still distros that use LXDE, uh, namely LXLE Linux. Uh, and as I say, stick it on top of a plain Debian and you're in a very, very nice space indeed especially if you've got an older e-waste PC. So there you go. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. That's a quick look around my Debian LXDE installed on my 4GB e-waste PC and running so quick if you blink, you'll miss it. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, thumb the videos up or down. I will see you for another wicked Broken Ebs video.